W to move forward. Press A to move left. Press S to move backward. Press D to move right. Contacts have a distinctive icon above their heads. To talk with a contact, first move near the contact and then do one of the following. Press the F key, or move your mouse cursor over the contact and press the right mouse button. Press the associated interact button on the bottom center of the screen. Pleased to meet you. It's always exciting to meet new heroes like yourself. Defender from the Champions told me you'd be a good candidate to help with our new training program. Let's get started, shall we? We'd like you to help test a new training simulation for our Ravenswood Academy students. It's based around the Kula invasion of Millennium City that occurred years ago. Talk with Plato, the Ravenswood AI that helps run our school. She can provide more details on the simulation. Plato interface online. Please let me know if you require assistance. Designation Superhero. Thank you for volunteering to test the QLAR Invasion Simulation MK1.247B. I will be tracking your progress through the tutorial. When you are ready, please proceed to the simulator. All frequencies override. Connection complete. Attention! Calling all heroes! This is Defender with a Priority One alert. Millennium City is under attack. I repeat, Millennium City is under attack by a hostile extraterrestrial force, the QLAR. I'm directing police and Primus troops to fallback positions, but they are outnumbered and outgunned. They won't last long against the advanced alien technology of the QLAR. We need reinforcements fast. I'm reading several new distress signals from the MCPD and EMS units in the south sector of downtown. All available heroes rendezvous with Sergeant McAvoy's team immediately. Help him secure the mayor and any nearby civilians. I repeat, all available heroes rendezvous with Sergeant McAvoy at the following coordinates. Downloading coordinates now. Once we have the civilians out of harm's way, we'll regroup at Champions HQ and take the fight back to the QLAR. Good luck, heroes. Defender out. Thank goodness you're here. You arrived just in time. The QLAR have turned Millennium City into a war zone. We need your help. I'm glad you're here. Any assistance you can give will be greatly appreciated. QLAR attack ships have been flying over the city, dropping scores of seed pods. Wherever these pods take root, they grow into hives that can produce firebugs. The officers have gathered up as many of these pods as they can find and are preparing to destroy them. Could you assist them? I'm glad you're here. Any assistance you can give will be greatly appreciated. Press the tab key to select the nearest enemy target. Pressing tab multiple times will cycle through all visible enemy targets. Press the one key or click on the first power icon in the power tray to toggle your energy building power. The power will activate as soon as you are in range of your target. Excellent work! Preventing the QLAR from taking root in the city will make it that much easier to stop this invasion. I'm glad you're here. Any assistance you can give will be greatly appreciated. Thank you again for your assistance. The mayor heard that you are here and would like to speak with you personally. You can find Mayor Bazell under the tent just southwest of here. I'm glad you're here. Any assistance you can give will be greatly appreciated.
Well, I sure am glad to see you. I've heard some good things about you. But Millennium City is in sore need of some heroes right now. My administration will not stand for aliens attacking Millennium City. When the Kular attack began, I set up a command post in the Samson building. But the initial assault gutted the building and drove everyone outside into the streets. When we fled the building, I left behind my laptop and briefcase. In the laptop is a disk with the city's emergency response plan. The codes to activate the plan are in my briefcase. If I can access these items, I can get a message out of the bubble and help coordinate the city's defense. My administration will not stand for aliens attacking Millennium City. Hero points are displayed as stars at the bottom of your hero's portrait. The more you have, the more effective your hero is in combat. interactive object. Press the F key or click the interact button and then wait for the progress bar to fill. Many thanks. I will activate the city's emergency response plan immediately. My administration will not stand for aliens attacking Millennium City. Customize existing ones. Make sure to visit a powerhouse trainer. I have information Chief Serhoff needs to see ASAP. These photos show the Kular massing for an assault on his position. The Kular are jamming our communications, so I need someone to deliver them. I think you have the best chance of getting to him in time. Can I count on you? Just follow the road west until you see another police barricade. My administration will not stand for aliens attacking Millennium City. The mission heading indicator is a directional arrow that will guide you to your primary mission. You can set any mission as a primary mission by clicking the number in the mission tracker or from the mission journal, J key, by selecting a mission and pressing the Make Primary button. Blocking reduces all damage taken. An incoming charge-up attack is signaled by special animations and an icon above your opponent's head. Block these attacks by holding down the shift key. The pulsing blue circle ahead of you marks a respawn point. If you are defeated in battle, pressing the recover button will transport your hero to the nearest respawn point. Talk about cutting it close! I'll redeploy my men immediately. We have a good chance of fighting off the impending attack. Thanks to that intel you delivered. Our ability to fight the Qlar is being hampered by civilians trapped near this area. As long as citizens are mixed in with the bugs, the Mars troopers don't dare use any of their most powerful weapons for fear of injuring civilians. Keep an eye out for civilians and emergency workers in trouble. Direct any you rescue to come here. We should be able to keep them safe for the time being.
I'm really worried I might miss my flight to Canada. Do you think the invasion may have delayed my plane? I have some EMT training, and I've done all I can for the injured we have here. But I'm afraid some of them aren't going to make it without additional treatment. I heard Chief Surhoff mention that some ambulances were ambushed and ransacked by Kular not far from here. If you reach the ambulances, could you recover the medical supplies from the aliens and bring them to me? I'm really worried I might miss my flight to Canada. Do you think the invasion may have delayed my plane? Excellent. The Mars scouts report that they see no civilians in immediate danger from the QR. With the citizens out of the way, we can take the fight to the aliens now. As rough as things are here, it gets worse the closer you get to the Champions building. One of my top operatives, Silver Avenger, mate to Sanchez, is pinned down with some Mars troops a block west of here. She reports being attacked by Kular from both sides. Sanchez was on a mission for Dr. Silverback. Could you check in with her and assist her in any way you can? I'm really worried I might miss my flight to Canada. by exploring. If a starburst appears behind the crime computer button, it is alerting you to an available mission in the area. Many of the Kular closer to the Champions building have been driven into a berserker rage. These enraged drones are hurling themselves at Maite Sanchez and her team in endless waves. Sanchez won't be able to hold out long against this sort of assault. Defeat nine enraged drones to take some of the pressure off Maite and her team. Look for the drones with the red glow.
Does anybody know a cheat code to port me to a zone where I'm not trapped by fallen debris? Our invaders and I'm trapped under all this debris. Being slowly crushed by debris during an alien invasion is clearly not my most brilliant Fox battle plan. Fight for sore eyes. We're getting hit from both sides. Get out there and kick those Kular back to whatever galaxy they came from. Dr. Silverback detected strange alien energy waves in the city that are driving some of the Kular insane. We need to find the source. The Kular have antenna arrays that are more sensitive to the waves than our own equipment. Take these scanner drones and activate them near two of the Kular antennae. The drones will tap into their data and allow us to pinpoint the source of the energy. My scouts report three antennae, one to the north, one to the west, and one to the southwest. You need to scan two to triangulate the source of the signal. Silverback fired a hologram communicator into the area near the Champions building. Take the drones there when you finish. Get out there and kick those Kular back to whatever galaxy they came from. Equipped devices are activated by clicking their icon or pressing the associated key. Control 1 through 5 by default. Salutations, my esteemed compatriot. I was occupied with some experiments on Monster Island when the Kular launched their invasion. It's a relief we have somebody like you to help against this interstellar aggression. Connect the drone controller to the rocket pod and the data will download automatically. Hmm. Interesting. 
This data pattern looks very familiar. Do be careful. These Pula are not to be underestimated. I believe the signal that summoned this invasion fleet is coming from inside the Champion's building. But simply turning it off is not going to make the Kular go home. The Kular mothership is literally the brains of the fleet. If we destroy it, the remaining Kular will lose direction and withdraw. Ironclad assembled pieces of an old linear accelerator from my lab, but the mothership destroyed it before he could put it to use. There are enough spare parts scattered around in crates to repair it, but Ironclad needs your help to do so. Find witchcraft on the west side of the Champions Building once the cannon is rebuilt. Do be careful. These Kula are not to be underestimated. Both missions are missions tied to a specific location or event. You may join or leave the mission at any time simply by entering or exiting the mission area. Completing an open mission grants rewards. Open mission, you may receive a reward based on your contribution. Look for the open mission reward icon within the area of the open mission and move next to it to collect your reward. Cannon is completed? Great! The Kular have been fighting hard to get inside the Champions building. 
Kinetic and I have managed to hold most of them off, but some managed to slip by us. Defender followed them inside. I think he may need your help. We must prevent any more Qlar from entering the headquarters. Dr. Silverback analyzed the data you collected and pinpointed the source of the energy. It's coming from inside the Champions building. Silverback thinks the old Qlar homing beacons we captured during the last attack on Earth have been reactivated somehow, and someone tampered with the signal to drive the Qlar crazy. That explains why the Qlar have been trying so hard to get inside. Go inside the Champions building and find Defender. Help him shut down the beacons and launch Ironclad to the mothership. We must prevent any more Qlar from entering the headquarters. Success inside the Champions building means a defeat at the Qlar invasion. Once the Qlar are defeated, you will be unable to complete or turn in any missions that take place during the invasion. If you have unfinished missions you wish to complete or turn in, it is recommended that you do so before entering the Champions building. Over here, we don't have much time. Black Talon and his destroyed minions are behind the Qlar attack on Millennium City. The Qlar are just pawns. Black Talon used some sort of technology to provoke the Qlar to attack. Over here, we don't have much you time. Like you can handle yourself pretty well. If we stop Black Talon, I bet we can turn the tide of this entire invasion. The Black Talon armor was created by Dr. Destroyer himself. So anybody who wears it is not to be underestimated. I hope you're Over ready here. for the fight. We don't of have your much life. time. Black Talon is our adversary. He's a servant of Dr. Destroyer. And if we don't bring him down quickly, he'll lay waste to all Millennium City. Block! I'll hold off the reinforcements. You're going to have to defeat Black Talon on your own. You've shown great bravery today, my friend. We need to shut down all those beacons. They broadcast a high-frequency signal which drives the Qlar crazy. That's what caused them to attack.
Beacons are down. Let's launch Ironclad and hope he's able to bring down the Kular mothership. This door leads to the defense control room. Go for it! Launch the Ironclad Defense! Seal the shell! We don't have much time! Ironclad's hypervelocity shell easily penetrated both the shield and the mothership's armor. The destruction of the mothership sent the Kular into confusion. The surviving aliens fled. Plato interface online. Please let me know if you require assistance. Designation Superhero, thank you for your help in testing the Kular Invasion Simulation MK1.247B. Your data has been uploaded to the Ravenswood Academy databanks for processing. Headmistress Rowan would like to speak to you before you leave. I monitored your progress through the Kular Invasion Simulation. Very impressive. Thank you again for helping test this scenario. This will be a valuable training exercise for the Ravenswood Academy students. The Powerhouse is a special training facility for heroes and is what made the Kula invasion simulation possible. Head to the main lobby and speak with one of the trainers. They will show you how to unlock your hidden potential and make sure you are properly equipped. All heroes have a power that generates energy. This is called an energy builder. The energy you have stored is shown in your energy bar. Your other powers have activation costs that drain this stored energy. There's a marker on your energy bar that shows your equilibrium point. Outside of combat, your energy reserves automatically regenerate to this point over time. Let's discuss charge-ups and maintains. Any power that has a charge time can be charged up. Hold down your mouse button on the power's icon, or keep the assigned number key pressed to charge a power. The longer you charge the power, the more damage it does and the more energy it expends. You can activate the power at any time by releasing the power key. The power activates automatically when fully charged. Charge-up powers can also be fired with a tap for a quick burst of damage. Just press and release. Maintain powers start with the charge bar full. A maintain power remains active until the charge bar empties, you run out of energy, or you release the power key. If you have sufficient energy, you can immediately reactivate the power by pressing the key again. Travel powers allow you to quickly get from point A to point B. You'll receive your first travel power when we finish here. It's bound to your T key by default. Tapping the T key or clicking the power's icon activates it. Some travel powers accelerate over time. You can charge up these powers to start moving at full speed immediately. Each 
time you level up, you may gain new powers. New powers are displayed here. Just press the Purchase Powers button to add them to your hero. At certain levels, you may have a choice of powers. Select the power you want and press Select Power. You may also receive Advantage Points. Advantage Points are used to purchase new ranks in an existing power or add a special effect to one. Choices available to you have green text. You may also receive Talent Points. Each talent you buy increases one or more of your hero's stats. Stats highlighted in yellow within a talent are your hero's super stats. What are super stats? Glad you asked. The character screen shows a picture of your hero and your hero's stats. Moving your cursor over any stat displays a tooltip with detailed information on how that stat affects your hero's performance. Super stats are highlighted in yellow in your character window. Increasing the value of your super stats grants bonus damage in combat, in addition to the stat's normal effects. You can also alter your hero's stats with gear. Upgrades are classed as Offense, Defense, and Utility. Within each class, an upgrade may be ranked as a Primary or Secondary. Hover your cursor over an upgrade to view its effect. Any changes to your super stats are highlighted in bold yellow text. Equip an upgrade by dragging and dropping it into the appropriate slot. Right-clicking or double-clicking an upgrade equips it in the first available slot of the proper type. Okay, I think you're ready to face Millennium City. Let's get you some gear and get you back to Defender. <laughs>